All right, it's your man DJ Alamo live and direct. Welcome, welcome, welcome. DJ Alamo TV, 24K Mixtapes, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. We do it all. I'm here with a great guy. He has a lot of things going on. His team is in the building with me. Um, introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are and what's going what's on. What's going on? What's going on? Big shout out to you, man. Thank you for having me. Big shout out to everyone watching. And uh, to the people that you're going to tell to watch, right? Right, right. That's, that's the idea. Just spread the love. Uh, so my name is Jalen James or Jalen uh, and uh, yeah, I'm a music entrepreneur to put mm. it shortly You know, that's just boom right to the point point. and you know, what's so crazy with the whole entrepreneur thing It's like when you hear that it's like it's it's like the the, the new thing like oh you rap oh, Okay, oh you play basketball. Okay, like it's like just the new thing right now yeah. like so so break down to some people who don't know, because we do have these new generation who just be like, entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm an entrepreneur. And it's like, you haven't done anything to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So exactly. can you break down to the people what an entrepreneur really, really is? That's that's a, that's a good question. So I'm going to start, first of all, with the obvious, right? Okay. The word entrepreneur actually comes from uh, uh, sort of like a businessman. It's a French word right. for for businessman right i didn't even know that so, it's a french so, word okay yeah it is a french word entrepreneur ah, I, I just butcher it I'm, I'm, ah, that, that, ah, hey, first of all i don't speak french I, I just said it the way that i think they would say okay okay but, that's not, but anyway but it, it does come from france okay uh, originally and uh well at the end of the day we know in music we have known entrepreneurs our whole lives right we just never call them that Okay. So, so in typically back in the days, they used to separate uh, anyone that was doing business in music. Uh, they used to separate us from businessmen, right? Mm -hmm. So, so Wall Street, uh, uh, you know, people doing real business. That was like entrepreneurs, people that that left the corporate jobs, right. started their own um, whatever, um, you know, I guess idea yeah. and created something, right. and then became successful doing it. That was a thing. But the truth is. That is no different than what Barry Gordy was doing back right. in the days. That's no different than what Puff Daddy, you know, more recently, Jay-Z. You know, those guys are the real music entrepreneurs. Russell Simmons, right. you know. These right. guys Baby. created... Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Master Cash P. Money. All those guys. Okay, got you. Brilliant got you, entrepreneurs. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. you know. And so um, the thing about it is that back, you know, we grew up with... Most people telling us musicians, you know, hey, just shut up, play your guitar, write your song. I'll take care of the business, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we already know how that turns out, you yeah. know. <laughs> and so the idea from the from in the last few years has been uh, the moment that you put um, your your picture, your video on on social media. Uh, and if you don't, I don't know what you're doing, but. The moment that you do that, you become a brand. You are a brand. So what happens when you have a brand? You got to monetize that brand. You have a business. Right. But in order for you to have a business, you got to have the mindset of an entrepreneur. You got to think like a CEO, you know? And okay. so most artists, again, they, they just stuck in the whole, oh, I'm just an artist. I just want to write songs. I don't know nothing about business or math or this and that, whatever. But what we do is that we teach you that you don't have to. Because the idea is a real entrepreneur knows how to build a team. Gotcha. A real entrepreneur is a leader. Right. And so, so when you lead, and, and the way we do things is we, we lead, we do positive leadership, gotcha. which is a whole very different, different than what the kind of music industry that I grew up in and anyway. Right. That was a right. whole different thing. But now the idea is that, that the new era, the new entrepreneur, is truly taking care of everybody and is truly leading by by a positive example and more importantly understands that you got to build a team like for example i always say that that the fifth beetle is your video guy now yeah <laughs> I, I, I mean it you know, sounds about right you know sounds i mean right. at the end of the day that 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 person that's out there filming the content and doing the video and posting the He's stuff. He's part of that team, too. Oh, yeah, of course, and just as important. Right. Because you can't get nowhere nowadays unless you you are really taking care of that part of it. So, so again, uh, a music entrepreneur is, is basically someone that builds their own business, creates their own team, create it becomes a leader, and uh, and is able to succeed and eat from their, their dream, right. from their passion. So, so, so at the same time, what made you even want to decide to become this entrepreneur to do this 
specifically? What what brought you to this? Well, uh, I don't think that this is something that you choose. I mm-hmm. think that at the end of the day, uh, again, I was I've been in the business for for most of you, ninety nine point nine percent of you don't know unless you're Latin. And if you're Latino, maybe you know or you remember my group Toque de Queda. Uh, I, I'm a pioneer in Latin music. I've I've been doing bachata music and traveling the world for the past I don't know how many years now. Really? And and hmm. and so doing my thing. Uh, in that world, uh, opened my eyes. But what really opened my eyes wasn't the amazing ex- experiences that I had traveling. That did open my eyes, but it wasn't everything. What opened my, my eyes was the fact that we did so much. Uh, and, you know, when you get uh, screwed uh, for money and when you don't know any better and you don't know uh, the, the business side of things, how to take care of your paperwork, right. for example, how to handle publishing, how to handle certain things that, that you know, as a young person, Come you're on. not really paying too much attention to. They're paying no attention exactly. to. Exactly. So, so when that happens, you know, uh, and you find yourself, um, let's just put it bluntly, when the shit hits the fan, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> then you, you either fall down and never get up or, or you figure it out. You figure it and out. And so... Uh, I learned that when when the shit hits the fan, you can't run. You gotta, you gotta figure it out. Stay, face it, eat some shit. It'll taste better later. Yes, it will. That's <laughs> dope. Um, so with that being said, um, I have I have about four 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 Latin DJs on my DJ crew. Um, wow. Coalition DJs. Mm-hmm. Um, and and they're they're very instrumental to to my team to me because of the diversity and the style and the um the openness that they have to everyone's music. You understand what I'm saying? So um these are some of the guys that I'm going to bring up and um and meet with you um Perfect. now so they would remember for example Lamento Boliviano, the bachata song that we put out back back in the days and Listen, that that, that, that I, DJ, I, I DJ a lot of events, I DJ a lot of Latin events. Mm-hmm. Um let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I get asked for bachata all the time, yeah. but this is this is. And I'm gonna be honest now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like I just know I got a I got a whole crate, uh-huh. and this and I just listen. I'm like, all right, that sounds cool. Boom. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know the artist, but <laughs> I, I know. Get it. Like like what about the? I, I know I have to play this record all the time. It's a Mark Anthony record. Mm-hmm. It, it's like yeah. S- Synonymous. Legend. It's from that's that's our Frank Sinatra. Got you. It's, it's from the little one to the grandma. It's like, can you play this one? It's like Viva something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viva la vida. There it is. I, yeah. I have to play it every event. <laughs> Actually, I just played it last night. Yeah. So it's um, got a, the song. The name of the song is a different name, I think, but it's, the song says that. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. So um, let's move forward. Um, so now. So so wait so going back to that's the reason why music entrepreneur was born right okay out of, out of the necessity of once I made it or began to really eat for my dream and travel and 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 Rachel and I uh, created a, a you know a successful company uh, from the very beginning my goal was to to teach others how to do that right how to you know be go back and really let them know. The business side of the business. So you 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 basically are your own. You you you're a walking record label. You're a walking uh, everything basically because to 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 the average independent artist. Because I like to help yeah. a lot of independent artists. You are really the new gateway uh-huh. to 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 learning things and to learning things that's in the business. Yeah. So so if it was an independent artist watching right now. What will be two words you could say to them of some encouragement or to tell them what they should be doing right now? Uh, one, uh, it starts with, with mentors, right? It starts with uh, just know that you don't know shit. You don't know the answers, and that's a good thing. Well, the idea, yeah. yeah, the idea is very simple. Find someone or some people mm-hmm. that you can reverse engineer. You know, got you. And so you 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 go and and right away, offer your services, figure out how you can bring value to them, turn, right. and then I guarantee you that they're gonna be like, wow, this person wants it. Right, right, okay, right, I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna work with them. Got and you. two, um, I think the one very very important thing uh, is that when you when you hear of opportunities like the ones we're bringing right now with Music Entrepreneur Conference, the difference between a lot of, uh, let's say, 
conferences or or events that have to do with entrepreneurship and all this or teaching the business or whatever the problem is that I lo and and I went to a billion conferences before we began to do our own thing right right so you go to these conferences and they're amazing you see the people and, and they get on their soapbox and they talk about yeah we've sold millions of records we've got X amount of streams we've sold blah 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 this and that whatever yay great amazing They've done this, they've done that. Okay, amazing. They're selling the new software, the new instrument, or the new whatever, and you're like, awesome, I can right. use all these tools. But then you walk out, and you're like, what's step one again? Where How do I learn? build my brand? Yes. How do I start? Who do I call? For example, you know how you know, I always think I always say that every artist is at a at a different level, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, you know some artists are really actually so good they're ready to go touring today. Right, right. Some artists are past that stage; they want to get into syncing licensing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and some are just starting out, right? right? So, so you got to know where you are. You got to really know, like, you know what your what you your needs are, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you got to find. A conference like ours, which is what we want to do in our conference, is provide the resources that you would never have exactly. access to. Exactly. I, I mean, Diggle's the underlying bottom factor of it because that was I was about to ask that. Well, like you know, what is is the whole you know thing about? But that's it right there because if you if I've been to a bunch of music conferences too, and I've never really learned much. And you can't talk to the, the speakers after. You can't. It depends on whose event that you yeah. go to and who you are. No, Me, no, meaning follow up. The, yeah, okay, follow all right, up. all right. There's the a difference follow up. between talking yeah, to yeah, them yeah. there. Yeah, the follow up. They might there. not. They might not even. Oh yeah, yeah. They'll give you the card. Yeah, yeah let's do yeah, this. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Yeah. And then wait for their call. Yeah, yeah. There's no such thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with but that. But we're doing different things, and and one of the th look, honestly, uh, uh, Mecon. We call it Mecon or Music Entrepreneur Conference. Right. Mecon is not a conference. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I think it's not a conference anymore. What I'm calling it is a hashtag opportunity factory. Okay. This is a place where you come and you actually meet the person that can take you on tour. Right. The promoters that are going to pay you to go to Russia. You come there and you're going to meet them there. You are the His plug. name is Andre, by the way. What's up, Andre? What up? You know? I need to be and, on and, that. And so, and so you meet these kind of resources right you know it's like coming to a fish market you can buy all the fish you want that's cool but instead we're gonna take you into the deadly catch mm. we and already could, did the deadly the catch and you could yeah. just yeah and we're gonna teach you how to fish right you're gonna we're go gonna, get it yourself yeah got you because we got the resources we got the people and that's we don't already kissed all the frogs right we because you know it's not to cut you up but that that is what i hear from a lot of artists right now they 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 they're so lost they're like Yo, i'm just trying to figure it out i'm just learning i'm just this because a lot of artists what i don't like is um They'll jump in my DM and they'll send me a link and say, click my link. All I do is hit them with the emoji like this. Yeah. So now it's, it sparks the conversation. Correct. So now they're like, well, you know, I don't really know what to do. All right, give me a call, bro. I'm one of them. I'm guys that's like. But you're one of the few ones that would actually I'm, that's engage. That's what I'm basically saying. I, I engage. The only reason why I do engage is because, all right, listen. Who am I to tell somebody they're not a star? Mm -hmm. It's not my job. Wow. I, th th that's like so who can tell me I'm not a great DJ yeah. you understand what I'm saying you yeah. can have your opinion mm -hmm. but it's it's your yeah. opinion yeah, of but again I'm not the one to say yo you're never going to be a star or you your music is not good enough for you to be a star I'll never tell somebody that I would just say ah it just doesn't fit what I'm doing but that doesn't mean that it's not good. That doesn't mean I can't listen in the car and ride to it. That doesn't mean that I can't when when, when that young lady gets in the car it's like you your song gave me a vibe Hey babe, what's this? Because yeah. to me, to me, women control the music right now. Yeah. If 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 I tell my I tell some guys all the time, even because I deal with a lot of street rappers, and I tell them I said I ask them I said, um, have you ever gotten a car with a girl and she's playing something you've never heard before, mm -hmm. and you be like, who's that? Mm -hmm. And then the next question is from the male, how you get put on to that? Wow. Mm -hmm. And 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 now we find out. I'd rather put 20 girls in a room with an artist and let them pick the records yeah. than having the random dudes, your homies from the block, 
everybody's going to tell you is good. Yeah, they're not going to tell you the truth. This is this you know is what I'm saying. So that's why I, I, I'm that's the I, and, and I love I that and I love that example. And you know who else is going to tell you the truth? I do this all the time. Those promoters that I'm talking about, because mm-hmm. I send it to them and they're going to. And like, I say, is this going to work? <laughs> and automatically they gonna let me know. You know what? This is not fly. This is not going to fly. Right. Where, where we at? You know. Right. Now, so. So now, that, if it picks up, you know, whatever they they push it, but it should be good. Yeah, it should be good. It needs to be good. And you know, another thing is like, you know, at this point where we are, to be honest with you, I'm not trying to look. I'm not trying to teach you how to write a song. If by by the time you get to us, you don't know how to do that, then you're not ready for us. I think. It you it, know. It's funny that you even said that because my next question before we you know what I'm saying move on was going to be. If there was an artist, a DJ, a producer, yeah. a promoter, um, entrepreneur, all of those are, trying all of to those. like find out what's going on this week in the New York City, what 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 are they going to learn? Right, what are they going to learn? I'm glad you said that. So one of the coolest things that we've done this year, uh, and this I'm extremely proud of, because um, we worked really hard um, with our conference. It began uh, it began as a series of talks mm-hmm. first and then eventually evolved into the conference that it is today. Uh, but one of the coolest things that we did this year is that we teamed up with Yellow Brick. Mm. And Yellow Brick is, uh, is uh, an incredible company. You guys can read more about it uh, later. But uh, with Yellow Brick, we, we did the first ever uh, online course for the Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music, and we partnered with Billboard Magazine. So what the course is, is called Music industry essentials. Right. Music industry essentials is in the, the essence of, you know, when people start and they want to be in the music of business, sometimes they don't really know what they want to do in the business, you right. know? You mentioned a bunch of different careers mm-hmm. in the business, right? And there's so many more that, that, that a lot of people on, don't yeah. even know. Yeah. So um, a lot of times uh, people that, are ha- that have a passion for music, they want to get in the, in the music business uh, and, and they don't necessarily have to be or want to be singers or, or rappers or producers, but they want to be something else. They don't mm-hmm. know what. They just because they're like, what? oh, I can't sing, so I don't know. I can't be in the what, business. What can I do? Right, exactly. right, right. But the, what Music Industry Essentials does is that we have uh, a collection of forty of the top, uh, most influential, most important people in in business, in any music. So people like, for example, Ryan <coughs> Leslie, we've got, in the, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, Biggs, uh, mm-hmm. Biggs Burke. Mm-hmm. You know, he's in it. Right. Uh, and and so many more people that 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 are telling their story f- from the perspective of what they did in the business, mm-hmm. but they're also giving you the experiences, telling you the realness of what you can expect in those positions, in those situations. And again, from sound engineers to uh, um, uh, marketing people to executives to managers to whatever, we have it all. And we teamed up with. NYU. So we mm-hmm. have obviously professors that are going to teach you the structure of the business of music and everything else that, that has to do with with music composition, other things that have to do with the whole uh, spectrum of music. Right. And so I think that one of the best <coughs> things that, that you can expect in this particular conference is that you're going to get to uh, see in all these different panels that we're doing something in you. Right, and I think that's what I'm looking at right here. Is these are some of the panels, yeah. all right? Yeah. So let me run run down the panels for people that are looking. That's going to go on this weekend for some that will see and will be there in New York City this weekend. Um, it, it it has making money, which is sync opportunities, music and video games, create and nurture super fans, experimental marketing, publishing, and alternative re- revenue streams. Now, I know a lot about that also because some artists don't know that if you are registered and you have BMI, ASCAP, or whatever, 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 you could work out something where as though if you're performing somewhere, you're getting paid for, 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 for performing there. Mm-hmm. I, I just learned that because I do festi- I did yeah. a festival in Philly, mm-hmm. um, a bear festival, over 20,000 people. It was wow. my first time running the only hip-hop stage. Wow. So I did that this year, very successful. And that I learned, some of the artists was like, yo, you know, I just got a check. Where did you get a check from? He was like, well, I submitted what I did, and I submitted the songs, and I submitted the playlist. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, yo, I got $175. I was like, what? Yeah. So I didn't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some people work it out different ways. 
but those are some of the things that you know I've been learning to see that can happen with the music. You yeah. can make more money off it. Let me um run into yeah. so you got the de developing leadership. Um, you have uh even Superman needs a Justice League. Build teams that last. Communicate like a boss. Personal and business finance and cre credit. Elevate your mindset. Going global. Global playlist. World collabs. Science of touring. One hundred and one. E commerce. Grow your international network. Building brands. Knowing your audience. Create content on a budget. Grow social media. Create brand equity. Build brand leverage. Now this is like. This this is this is everything, right here. Like, this is your business. This is your business. Like right here, I'm just looking at all of this, and as me as a DJ, like I'm, like I look at all this. Like I, I did my own BMI. Mm -hmm. I want to put out my own records. Yeah. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So so for me to see this is like, as an artist, why wouldn't you want to be here? Like yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because yeah. especially if you're an independent artist and yeah. you don't know nothing, this is the place to be. This weekend. Music Entrepreneur Conference. Oh, this is so dope. Um, yeah, yeah. This, and, this and is, like for example, big. an example like that when when you comes when you heard publishing there. Oh yeah, we're bringing Song Trust. Song mm. Trust is going to talk about every aspect of how it actually works wow. and, and the ways that you can actually register. Uh, and by the way, the places where you're not collecting money, mm -hmm. where you you can you recollect yeah, that money. Where yeah. you think that you have it registered, but yet you're not collecting money from hundreds of possibilities mm -hmm. uh, and, and the money is being left out there and by the way um, if you don't know what happens with that money uh, at the end of uh, what, what is it every so often they do it what when the money is not collected or uh, dispersed do you know Probably, what they do yeah then they then they have to come back or something like that what is what is I don't know what in publishing is. when they don't they, they don't when people after a certain time they don't the money's not collected they don't disperse the money to certain people that goes back to who Oh, it goes back to the the um, kind of what do I say? M not majority shareholders, but the majority AKA labels. The major, the major mostly labels. The major labels. Gets, so, so the major it labels are splitting spread. your the, yeah. the, the, the labels. If you don't get your check, the labels are are are, are going to dinner on you. That's right. I like that. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> hey, look, you guys. Hey, you know what? Dinner on me tonight. <laughs> well, really on him, but it's on me tonight. That's right. So, um, yeah. That's so, exactly um. Right. That's dope. So now, me as a DJ. Mm -hmm. Now, now let's talk about the DJs, and then I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get into some of the conferences that I've been to, and, and, and the differences of some of these conferences. Mm -hmm. But with the DJs, how influential do you feel that the DJs are still relevant for music? Wow. Uh, and growing. I think the DJs are gonna continue to get bigger and bigger. Let's let me give you an example of that. So, uh, back in the days, you know, obviously. Uh, the house DJs, right? Mm -hmm. They were just house DJs. house DJs, nothing. They were just people that were hired hands that would come in, do their thing, blah, 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 this and that. Little by little, they be became a little bit more trendy. Right. Disco music, right. And blah, blah, blah. And then Detroit, uh, Detroit Chicago, kind of like underground stuff, underground, right? Underground, right. And then eventually the raves kind of like really took it over. Right. And whatever. But what is a Calvin Harris nowadays? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna give you one number: sixty-three million in touring this year, Gosh. this past year, Jeez right? Louise. So, uh, so people like him yeah. are an example of what the DJ could be. Could be okay in in our market, right? Okay. So in wait, and I'm our market. I mean, like pop, urban, uh, Latin, all those different type of markets. Uh, if you, because because really our mu our music is even more popular. Mm-hmm. It you is. Know? It so is. Is. so could you imagine? If the DJs figure it out and the DJs create a different way of doing it, mm -hmm. you know, as far as the, the, the infrastructure of how they put their business out there. Right. That's how the, the DJs did it. You know, they worked with owners of venues, mm -hmm. uh, those house DJs, and they became household names right you know because some um, of these guys are getting twenty thousand a night yeah well we have an we have an example of that you know his name is dj Khaled. very right? much so dj Khaled, what has he done as a, as a dj right yeah, yeah obviously yeah. uh morphing into producer dj producer mm -hmm. uh and so dj Khaled is a perfect example and i'm, I'm super proud of him because I'm, I'm i'm from miami so right 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 right, right. big ups to, to my guy 
Uh, and so obviously very proud of uh, what he has accomplished. Somebody else from Miami who's a, an incredible DJ entrepreneur. Uh, he has one of the biggest events in Miami called Irie Weekend. Yeah, DJ Irie. Yeah. Come on now. So, so that's my brother. Uh, okay. So DJ Irie. So you know Epps then? Yeah, Epps. Oh, what's I was, up, Epps? I was just in Miami with Epps. He just had me at the Playhouse. I appreciate you, DJ Epps. You're my guy. Oh, yo. And, and, and then he put me on for his birthday oh, weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. DJ so I'll be, I'll, I'll be out there we for go, his birthday we, we weekend. We go back a long way. That's my guy. My listen. Ha my Haitian family, all of them. I'm Dominican, but that's all my family. Listen, listen. I grew up with Haitians. Yeah. Uh, some of the, one of my one of Haitians, one of my best friends lives in Miami. So understand... Big, listen, I grew up, these were my idols. Do you understand? Gosh. You have to understand that these were my idols. And you see what they them, was doing, right? Yeah, watching them do their thing. And, 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 and all of them were always open and bringing me in and right. and allowing me to, you know, be around you, and because, learn and shit. And, and, and I think that's what, the, that's what hurts with a lot of the industry people. You're never going to find a person like you and a person like me that could sit together and say, I'm here because I'm trying to help somebody. Yeah. It's, you normally don't get too many people to sit in the same room like that, and if you do, it it, it lasts, but it doesn't last for too long. Mm -hmm. So this is just a dope um experience. Um, um, let's 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 move on. Let me just say one thing sure. about conferences. Um, and then we'll move on because yeah. we want to um keep this uh going. Now with me with conferences, I, like I said, I've learned things and I haven't learned things. Mm -hmm. But one thing is is that. Me, I'm one of those guys. If I go to the conference and I know Puffy's there, I'm gonna try to get the, I'm gonna try to get close enough to just introduce myself. Yeah. Like I need you to just know my name. You might not remember me, huh? But you are gonna look me in my eyes yeah. and you are gonna remember. Me. That's how I'm. That's mean. Yeah. Me you know too. what I'm saying? So. And by certain, the way, that's an exchange of energy. Exactly. He'll remember. He don't know that he'll remember, but one day. It's going. Yeah. It's going. It's so gonna click. It's gonna click because it, it it comes full surface like that. So, my thing is, I've been to the conferences, but I do I do a lot of DJ conferences. Mm -hmm. It's just more different with the DJ conferences yeah. because they have more just DJ, DJ talk. Because and DJ equipment. And, and right, because now they, they have moved us DJs out of everything. They don't let DJs be on panels no more to talk. They don't let us give our shine and say, well, look, look let us tell y'all about the problems we have in the club when somebody comes up to me and says, yo, can you play my record and play it off of here? Like, like... You you understand what I'm saying? It's like where's where's the protocol? Can we can we, can can we get the, the ten DJ commandments going? Yeah. I want to start it. Don't I like if that. you still don't don't steal that shit. <laughs> we gonna copy. It's already copyright. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, um, yeah. It's beheaded by me and and, and you. So yeah. that's how it's gonna go. We are gonna put this DJ commandment T-shirt out. We gonna get all that going Do because it. it's you got my back. I got your back. All right, send them more. One hand washes the other. We gonna make that work because I I I'm I'm here for the DJs. I, I have one of the strongest DJ communities mm -hmm. in in this area. Me personally, wow. I could go to almost any city or state and I could pull up three to four DJs and go do what I want. Wow. If I could go get paid, I can go this. Like I said, I just call Epps. Epps, I'm coming to Miami. All right, I got you, Alamo. Boom, boom, boom. Send me a picture. Wow. And I'm on the party. You understand what I'm saying? Perfect. So I know a lot of DJs Perfect. that cannot he, do that. He's such a good guy. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, like but I that, said. No, but that, that shows a lot about you. And one of the biggest lessons that we teach in our conference is never burn a bridge. You know? And that, that says a lot about you and the respect that yeah. you gathered from people. Because, again, you're out there pushing and helping and bringing value to other people. Right. So people want to do that for you. So that, that that's you know I mean let's you know I I I'm definitely coming so you know we gotta incorporate some more DJs and I know y'all do have DJs involved with what y'all yeah. do so mm -hmm. you know other than that you know we can move on um anything else you want to run by and say no I I just really wanted to um to say that at the end of the day you know I, I'm gonna leave you with this before you I want you to get to know my partner uh the reason like you know everyone should have a why. Mm -hmm. a reason why they really do something we all do you know we find that moment where we get our aha moment right right right, right. And, and we do that and um it you know once you do a little bit more research about uh us as a company and about me and what i'm doing where i came from um uh, well i'm gonna leave you with this december 17th two days after uh our conference after our event I'm speaking at uh, at Microsoft okay. for the uh, Microsoft Change Makers. Mm. So I'll be the I'll be the the keynote speaker that night, six to eight p.m. You got an RSVP, <laughs> so it's a uh, boss, boss stuff. Limited it's capacity. Boss stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'll be speaking, telling my story, and I, I I'll leave you with this. In a in a nutshell, um, 
17 and a half years ago, I was probably one of you guys, you know, wondering how to break into this industry, how to eat from my dream, from mm -hmm. my passion. And the reason why I literally was thinking about how can I eat from my dream is because I lived in a park. I lived in Bayfront Park. I was homeless and I was washing dishes of baba gum shrimp. And I remember thinking, you know, I'd go days without eating sometimes and I'd be thinking, you know, like, like what if somebody could actually pay me for my passion, for, for my songwriting skills, for the things that I love to do so I can buy groceries with mm -hmm. my money, so I can eat from my dream, right. right? So I remember thinking, how could that, is that possible? Well, obviously, I was looking at people back then like Will Smith and, mm -hmm. and Puffy and so many, uh, Jay-Z, who's my favorite rapper, and all these different people that, that were doing it, right? And I was like, man, it must be possible. And if it is possible, then one day if I ever get to do it, I'm going to teach other people how, how to, to do, do it, it you mm -hmm. know? And the fact is that it took only one person believing in me and giving me a book. And this book changed my life. More importantly, it changed my mindset. Okay. And within three weeks, by coincidence, nothing is coincidence, but by coincidence, I happened to see in a newspaper audition for an actor, actor needed. I went to that audition and it turned out that I became the host of the <coughs> world launch of Microsoft Windows XP and the Xbox, the video game. Wow. The console. So I hosted that event. I was the host of that event. I introduced Bill Gates, Paul Allen on stage. Wow. And the DJ was a young man named DJ Irie. That was coming up. <laughs> wow. So that's how I ended up breaking. And then from that moment on, my career took off. And I've been all over the world now. And all well, that, 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 so. that's a story in itself. And um, you know what I mean? I'm. It's, it's, a, it's, it's just a pleasure. Like I said, shout to... My publicist, she doesn't let me call her that, but Kedra, you are my publicist. She is the best. Saying? But she's not, but she is. She's she's mine, definitely. <laughs> but so. yeah, she's yours, definitely. <laughs> she's not mine, but yeah. that's that's like Thank she's helped so me much, out a lot. Yeah. And um and um anything she asks for me, I'm I, I'm on it. She's you, it. You know what I'm saying? So and then then she just doesn't deal with any anybody. You feel I, what I'm saying? Yeah. So when she told me about everything, she she wanted me to come. She invited me. I said I'm coming. I'm bring. I'm a, um, bring some of my DJs on Saturday because most of them work in Friday, so we probably yeah. couldn't get, come. But it's between Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna pull up. We're gonna show our faces. We're gonna come coalition shirted up. We're gonna yes. we coming as DJs to show yes. our our strength at the same time and 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 and, and be because we want to be a part. We want to yeah, help yeah, you. Yeah. We want to do whatever we could possibly do to 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 you know be and, a part. And, and the other way around. And just know, for me, this is about quality, right? So if if 300 people show up, excellent. If 50 people show up, excellent. Because what I want is who can I help take to the next level? You only, I don't care if it's one, one person, person out of those 300. Say, it doesn't matter. That's all you but need, what we want to do is make sure that people understand that whoever shows up, that means that they're showing up for themselves. Mm -hmm. And now it is our duty as a, as a, that's what we, this is our ethos for right. our company. Right. To take them to the next level. level. That's you what know? I, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. I, I really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see everything that's going on. Everything you said, um, is, 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 is just an honor to just be in, in, in the presence. So, you know, let's move on. Let's, let's meet your partner. Right, and, 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 and She'll and tell you a little bit more about the company tell, and everything yeah, else. That's what we doing, man. You already know what it is. This next Much segment love, coming people. up, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Live and direct, man. DJ Alamo. I'm here, DJ Alamo TV. Boom.